perennial enemy is making its way across the region. Dogs, cats and livestock here are at risk and local vets are calling on animal owners to take precaution. Gerard Lampau has the details in this week's agriculture report and a warning. The images in this next story may be disturbing to some viewers. I pick them off. So we send it away at no charge and the provincial government type the, the tick to see what type of tick it is. That information is critical to test for diseases. Dr. Newman says migratory birds and wildlife like deer and moose bring ticks into our region and this spring the numbers are up. We're primarily seeing what's called the brown dog tick. And um, the reason we know this is that both the Alberta and Saskatchewan provincial governments have a tick monitoring program. Erin Mitchell is a fourth generation rancher south of Lone Rock. About eight years ago, she started seeing ticks on her horses and cattle. The pesky nibblers attach themselves to the animals in the fall and feast between February and May. Unfortunately, in the livestock and the cattle and the horses, there are very few products available in Canada to effectively treat them um, that, that aren't extremely management intensive and maybe even not possible in the cold temperatures. Dr. Newman holds out some hope in treating livestock. We do have a, a spray that it does have a label on it for ticks. So it's a permethrin based spray. You would have to, it's called Ultra Shield. You'd have to spray your horse. The label is for once a week, but you'd probably have to spray your horse almost daily in order to prevent ticks. To treat your pets should they have ticks, you may use an oral tablet or a topical application. But if you want a more hands-on approach, you may also try a tweezer or other tick removal tool. Simply get to the base of the tick, pluck it out of the animal's fur, put it in a Ziploc bag, and when you're done, you can use an antibacterial soap or as well add on some antibacterial ointment to treat the wound. But the stress remains for animal lovers. As they try to get a handle on the blood suckers, there might be a silver lining. The ones that we have found are not the ones that are carriers of Lyme disease, which makes me feel better about it. But the fact that they can still cause issues with um, be, causing animals to become anemic. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News.